Uh, hello everyone. Uh, a few days back, Vinay Tupul rang me up and asked me, Auntie, can you do a little story of your um, working life for us? Um, I'm honored that Pulkari has asked me to tell my story in the working world for the last 50 years. I'm the principal of the junior study, a kindergarten school in Amritsar. We educate over 500 children below the ages of three to six. I also have about 40 teachers working with me and an additional staff of another 30. I am proud to say that 90% of the teachers and staff in the school are women and many of them breadwinners for their uh, families. Uh, my story begins 50 years ago. Gosh, that's a long time. I was a young 24-year-old when I came to Amritsar. Uh, I got married and my husband is a doctor here. Before coming to Amritsar, I had done my qualifications in uh, education and had some work experience. I had uh, got my BA from Chandigarh, had worked at Mount St. Mary's in Delhi and had spent time in Japan at the Indian Pavilion at Expo 70. Being from an army background, I, it was understood that I would work even though few women in my social circle uh, did at that time. I took up a job at St. Francis. After about three years, I had to leave because I had my first son, Uday. When Uday was old enough to go to a preschool, when he was three years old, I realized that uh, Amritsar did not have a specialized nursery school. Uh, with the encouragement of friends and family, I started my own school. I began with seven children of close friends in two rooms of our house. It so happened the need for a quality education at the primary level was great in Amritsar and the school continued to grow to the size it is now. Uh, along the way, there were some pivotal, uh, pivotal moments and many friends, family and friends who and parents who helped me. I feel this is important to mention because being a successful working woman is not just about oneself but about the people around you. It's the people that you, you are surrounded by uh, that help you to become successful. In my case, it was my husband, Rajbir, who was very, very supportive. In my early years, I lived in a joint family and I was always grateful for the support I got from my father-in-law, who had the vision to see we were providing an important service and always encouraged me. I was also lucky to form a close working relationship with one of my close friends, Kanchan Mera, who initially worked with me and then started her own school, the senior study, which was a pre-primary school. Uh, the, our children, uh, natural, there was a natural progression from the junior study to the senior study and uh, our children automatically went to her. Uh, Vijay Mera also started with the senior study and uh, over time Kanchan, Vijay and I have always been together as educationists hand in hand and uh, take care of the interests of the students. We advance whatever is good for them. I've also had the support of an excellent staff, some of whom have been with me for over 30 years. It is important to, uh, to surround yourself and have a good team. It cannot be a one woman show. The insight I have for young people in a career or um, starting a business are, number one, surround yourself with people who will support you. You cannot do it all by yourself. Number two, have integrity and purpose for what you do. For me, it was always putting the interest of the students first. And then as the school got bigger, the teachers and the staff had to be taken care of, especially since many of them were women and were supporting their families. Number three is trust your instincts and follow your heart. 
Ultimately, if you care about what you are doing, you will succeed. Nothing makes me feel better than when young men and women come up to me and tell me that they were with me as little kids. I feel so proud of them and happy they have fond memories of the time they were with me. Uh, thank you for listening to my story and I wish you great luck in your own journey. Stay safe. Stay happy.